Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now this vlog is going to be pretty much a moving vlog. So as some of you may know, um, that I am moving states, in the middle of moving states. So yeah, I'm going to be filming the process of the whole thing. I'm still in Sydney at the moment and we're just waiting for flight confirmations. But yes, so all of our stuff is going to be taken up to Townsville and then we'll go from there. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy and if you do like these types of videos, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up so I know you guys are enjoying them and you want to see more of them. The guy is now coming in 15 minutes, he just called me but I just want to say goodbye to my baby and I'll see you in Townsville. <laughs> So just an insight of how much room we've been taking up of the garage, pretty much a whole car spot. So the boxes are just everywhere. So yeah, poor mum has had to deal with this since like December because Jax was down and we decided to pretty much furnish our whole house. Um, also inside we have so much shit as well. See ya in Townsville. So mum finally has her dining room back. How do you feel about it? <laughs> I'm gonna clean it. I could have done it. Cute. And now everything is gone and it's on its way to Townsville. Hello everybody, so it is currently the next day, so all of our stuff got moved yesterday. Um, I didn't really film much, I just did um, like a few snippets here and there. I've just felt like very all over the place lately. I'm super stressed, but like I don't feel stressed, but I know I'm stressed, if that makes sense. Um, hence why I have a cold sore and I have ulcers in my mouth. Um, which I always get them when I'm really stressed so I know my body is just you know under the pump at the moment just I feel like everything is just everywhere like half well my furniture is traveling to a different state at the moment with the whole COVID thing as well like everything has just been so crazy and I feel like I have handled it really well but um yeah definitely has taken a toll on me I guess internally as I said like hence why I have all this <laughs> stuff happening um, I haven't wore makeup in a few days and I don't know if you guys can tell but my skin has oh I'm so excited there's no active pimples at the moment which is amazing it's all just like kind of like scarring and redness and um, LV Beauty I did order some more products from her she's gonna drop them off when she can so I can't wait to now tackle the recovery of my skin as such um, and trying to get rid of the acne scarring um, but yeah I will talk to you guys soon and good morning everybody oh my gosh I look so tired <laughs> wow my bags are so bad this is, feels nice on them because it's cold anyway I'm getting started with my day and I'm going to do my makeup and stuff I'm going to the park with my family because drum roll I got news that my flights are on next Friday so that's so amazing finally we have some like <laughs> I don't know we have a date so I'm moving next Friday which is super exciting but nerve-wracking at the same time um so yeah, I'm just going to go to the park to see everyone and pretty much say goodbye because next week I have a lot of like appointments and stuff just like because um, I might half asleep I think. 
next week I have a lot of like appointments and that just like I want to get my last well, not my last midwife appointment but my last one in Sydney done before I go that way I don't have to like stress about it as soon as I'm up there because um, obviously there's going to be a lot of setting up and organizing to do um, so yeah it's exciting news though once again I'm here procrastinating because I just can't do I have so much shit to pack and not enough room I thought I'd have heaps of room but because it's such big items it's just not fitting and yeah I don't want to leave the items that aren't fitting here because I want them <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just now laying because I just can't be bothered to do with that right now so I <laughs> love that for me now the night before it's Thursday and I'm leaving tomorrow morning my flight is at 9 a.m. so I will be waking up at about my alarm set for 4 45 because of like the whole COVID thing yes I'm flying during COVID which is scaring the shit out of me but um I just don't want don't know what traffic is going to be like and just what everything's going to be like so I'd rather get there earlier than later um so yeah that's that I'm so like it's hit me but it hasn't hit me yet that like that's going to be my new home and I'm not going to be seeing like my mom and sisters all the time and that like moving out for the first time is going to be so weird but yeah I'm excited and nervous and I know I'm probably going to be like emotional at the same time too but I'm excited just to see like what this new chapter you know holds for me and yeah good morning guys I just finished getting ready and I'm running a little bit late on time but late um so yeah I just did my makeup and mom's gonna drive me to the airport So we made it to the airport in one piece which is good. It's a bit chilly and I'm in a dress but that's good because I get really hot and like flustered or something. But yeah, stop laughing at me mum. Am I flustered or something? I'm putting my glasses on in case she gets me in the background. <laughs> it's so cold. Um, but yeah, I probably won't film much of like this bit because I don't know. Um, I'm probably a bit like flustered because it's the first time me flying as well. But yeah, anyways, I'll check back in with you guys soon. Hi guys, so I made it to Townsville and look, I've been really slack with vlogging because I was actually an emotional mess I was on the plane and before the plane literally like crying and bawling my eyes out I'm surprised my makeup doesn't look worse than it does like my eyelashes are off and but like I mean for the shit that it's been through crying and like wiping my face that CC cream from it cosmetics is actually amazing um, so yeah that's that um, it was very exciting seeing Jax after two months we're just currently putting the house together. There's so much stuff. Um, I'm not going to film too much because I just want to like chill out and you know, enjoy the vibe <laughs> as such. But I'll give you some sneak peeks of course. This is currently the garage. You guys seen at the other house all the boxes but we've already put half the stuff up. But um, yeah that's all that. I created my two piles there and then my random rubbish bag as well and then we're just doing the bedroom he's up you know organizing dinner so i'm gonna try and do the bed um i have this mattress thing and it just rolls out but i need to find scissors and i'm scared that i'm gonna do the mattress and it's actually gonna fling and hit me in the head or something
okay i did it <laughs> um i'm just going to this vlog might be like all over the place but i'm honestly just filming random stuff and as i said earlier like i'm not gonna film myself crying like at the airport and shit like i don't know i'm not comfortable to do like public vlogging to that extreme as i said earlier i haven't seen jacks for two months so it's been good well we haven't really got to spend time together because we've been so busy but it's um fun setting up our house we've waited so long for him to finally finish and you know get this done but yeah it was so hard leaving my family but you know it's gonna happen one day i guess um but yeah also look how bad this is That is so bad. This arm, the arm that I just showed you, I had the two needles in it. But I only noticed today that it was that bad. And I'm like, what the hell? Because um, I had to get my glucose test on Monday. But yeah, it's like Friday now and it's like gotten worse day by day. Um, I also got my whooping cough injection and my flu injection as well. So this week has been... A big week full of needles and injections for the baby and yeah anyways i'll talk to you guys soon i don't know when but um i have left my camera out on the bench so i try to remember to do some vlogging for you all good morning everyone so just a quick little update we have what have we done today we put together the dining setting and stuff so cute um, of course, that's like the plants and stuff aren't staying there. I just put everything there for now until I find a home for it all. But yeah, the chairs were such a pain in the ass to put together. This was all covered with boxes and I've just broken it down into sections. They're making progress. We have all the baby stuff here. But yeah, that's the dining room almost complete. A lot more flat packs that need to be done so that's gonna be fun but I'm gonna do a fast forward and you guys can watch us put the flat, flat packs together So that is the change table done. We're just going to get the mattress from my pop's house, which obviously goes on the top. And we still have a thousand more things to go. So just finished putting together the cot. And of course she had a leopard print cover, just like her mama. <laughs> and Jack's put together this chair. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys a quick sneak peek of her room so um obviously nothing set up we just um roughly put in the furniture and everything's just kind of chucked everywhere and you might have seen from the last vlog the clothes i had hanging up in my wardrobe are now up and then i have to unpack those two tubs and everything else that's down there so this is our next room to Conquer, she has um, drawers that we need to put up as well, but we're going to leave them for tomorrow because we're both sick of flat packs. Like we've done pretty much the whole house in a day and a half. So we've done pretty well, but I just finished, well not finished, halfway through washing up all the dishes and stuff. That way they're clean whilst cooking some dinner. Anyways, I will just finish off cooking my dinner and I'll check back in with you guys soon. So we're now putting K 
keyboard we we are now putting the drawers together for the baby's room and I just sorted out her clothes to wash them all as well. The lighting's so good in here, that's going to be like my backdrop. So I have my two soft boxes and my ring light plus the natural lighting and then some natural lighting on the side as well. So I cannot wait to utilize this space since before I was filming on a camping desk and an esky as a chair in my bedroom and I had to like push all the furniture to the side. So I'm excited to have my own space where I can just come in and sit down and create some looks for you all and some content but yeah um i know this vlog's gonna be very random with bits and pieces everywhere but that's just what i've been up to we are stuck in isolation for two weeks um because jackson who's obviously living with me he's in isolation as well for two weeks so yeah we have a lot of time i guess to set up the whole house but it sucks that we can't like go out and like i don't know buy what we need like just random stuff like at the moment using plastic forks and that because we're waiting for our delivery and it's just like oh my gosh that's just a little check-in i'm just this vlog is probably going to be like me fast forwarding a lot because i feel like it's boring me just like talking the whole time but i hope you guys enjoy it if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up so i know you guys are liking these vlogs assembling my beauty room desk so i think this is the mom that I ended up getting. But yeah, I liked how it has the drawers in it. I just finished kind of setting up my beauty room. Obviously there's still a lot more to do. I need to wipe down everything, but I put everything away. So it's a good start. I need to get a nice chair, um, but you can go, you, oh, oh my gosh, I can't speak. But you guys can get a visual of what it's going to look like. We have that nice natural afternoon sun. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be my backdrop. I like how it's going to be just plain and simple. I'm also getting two soft boxes. I'm just waiting for them to be delivered. But we just have all makeup in there. And then these are full of my makeup too, which I need to organize a lot better. I don't have any like acrylic um, organizers and stuff. Keeping all my makeup very simple. Because I like to utilize everything I have, if that makes sense. Like, if I don't reach for a product, I'm not going to keep it um, just sitting there. Like, I would get rid of it or give it away. There's no point, you know, having stuff that's just going to sit there and expire. So, I thought with these drawers, whenever I create a look, um, I want to try and use different products. So, the top one, I'll choose a foundation, the setting spray, then a powder, and work my way down and have a basket. And I'll take the basket to sit down here with me. And then in this drawer has like my stuff that I use all the time. You can't really see because the sun's bad. But I have palettes and pigments in them. And then this is stuff I have to film with that's got sent out to me. But yeah, that's what it is looking like so far um i probably won't, i was gonna do dedicated videos for each room but i'll probably just do like my vlogs and include like each room in the vlog if that makes sense but yeah anyways i'm going to now take off all the clothes off the line and probably just sit down and relax because i've been on my feet all day Okay, so this is what I've done with the room so far. So we have the cot. All those teddy bears won't be staying there, but it will do for now. Her swinger, change table, the rocking chair, and all that. 
So I'm thinking of doing like headbands, beanies, socks, um, bibs and burp cloths. And then down here I just have a drawer full of nappies as well as just random stuff for now. Then in her wardrobe I have her blankets, pants I need to hang up her shoes and then just some boxes and then I have all her clothes up there as well so yeah that is that for now and I'll keep you guys updated on what else we do to the room so yeah it's exciting that we finally have it all set up so anyways I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I feel like it's going to be quite lengthy but I'll be sure to continue them on and keep you updated with everything especially with like decorating the house and stuff but if you did enjoy this vlog don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my videos anyways I'm going to go and I'll see you in my next one